Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to gain the most XP out of the double XP event that is going on right now by using three different glitches. The first glitch I recommend you using if you are new to the game, this one right here, which is the unlimited terminal glitch. You can do this right away and if you want to learn how to do this, you can click the suggestion box above right now. It'll pop up on the top right corner. You can click that and it'll take you directly to the video so that you can understand how to do this all the way. I'm just showing you the three glitches that we have found on this channel and how they are beneficial, especially since we have the double XP event going on. Whatever glitch that you decide to use, make sure that you use some lunch boxes, you maximize your intelligence, and that you use cranberry cobblers and some other XP uh, buffs there that will help you gain the most XP. The second XP glitch I recommend doing is the unlimited scorch glitch. You can do this underground and what I recommend doing, more of an updated video now, is that I would highly recommend that you place down a foundation right behind it and then build underground because this will make it way easier to get the glitch done and I'll show you exactly why within this video. Now all you want to do is build a 5x7, basically a rectangle all around the ultra site. This is just like the previous method that we had posted in the past except what we're going to do is we're going to add a little twist to this. We're going to add the underground map glitch to the 5x7. Next up we'll want to go underneath the map. There are various tutorials out there on YouTube that will show you how to get underneath the map. I'll even leave a suggestion box above. But basically you'll want to get underneath the map and then you'll want to create an extra set of stairs then place a floor and then fill up the whole entire floor so that it matches the 5x7 up at top. Then you'll want to place down your walls because this is going to be inside the 5x7 instead of it being outside of it. This is ultimately going to help the Scorch spawn underneath the map so that you no longer have any more issues. Next up, we want to make sure that our inventory weight is maxed out so that we're overweight. And you'll see that at the bottom left there that says max weight. The best way to maximize your weight is to either carry large amount of items such as weapons, nothing like junk because you'll lose that. But make sure that you put a lot of items on and then decrease your per card so that you have the maximum weight. After that, place down a set of stairs, and then once you go up and you click on that ultra site, or you're going to notice that, hey, it's not disappearing, and the reason for this is because your maximum weight, and the game does not want to add that to your inventory, so it keeps the ore there instead. In this video, I did not use any XP buffs, but if you do, you'll get more than I did right here, which is 1300 XP. Next up, we're going to be going over the third and final glitch, which is the unlimited Tesla arc disarm and... The flamer trap you can also use the grenade over at the prison location that is a great one as well the reason why this one is at my number one top list is because you do not need to use any ammo you do not need to use anything else except a macro and it can be done on console if you have a turbo controller a macro controller of some sort or if you have a setup over an overlay that can work out as well with this method right here, I'm able to level up one to two times per a server hop. That is absolutely amazing. And you can actually level up way more than I did if you use some lunch boxes. Again, I did not use any within the video. I'm just showing you the double XP let alone. And the whole double XP event is going to be ending this July 16th. I believe that is what they said. So make sure that you're taking a full advantage of these glitches before this event is over with. That is the last thing I have to say. Hopefully this has been an informative video, helpful in some ways. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Live well and see you again, guys. Peace.